Dear friends, welcome to DB InfoTech YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make single atom alloy catalyst using Material Studio software. So this is the model system I'm going to create. This is the copper uh, bottom layer. This is the rhodium single atom alloy catalyst. So we will see how to make this catalyst using Material Studio for WASP and CP2K or Quantum Expresso. Uh, periodic calculations so for that first you can open your material studio software so this is the one now we have to take our copper sieve file so for that what you have to do go to file this is the our material studio software so here go to file here you can click import So here you can see structures, just you can click structures, then you can uh, go to metals. So this is the clusters, this pure metals. Again you can uh, select pure metal, here you can see all the metals. So here we have to, we are going to use copper. So this is the copper, just you can click it. So this is the copper bulk structure this is fcc face center cubic structure so this is the showing the plus type so we, we can make into the uh, ball type for that just you can um, right click go to display of style so here you can see uh, line and stick ball and stick just you can click ball and stick so if you want to increase this radius of this ball just you can uh, click uh, uh, press top one it will increase if you want to decrease just you can click it so 0 0.5 0 0.6 is enough so we can keep 0 0.5 so then we can uh, close this one so you see here there is no connection between the atom uh, to make a connection just do you can click this one this uh, calculate bonds if you click this one it automatically uh, calculate and connect the bond so now showing the uh, very thick one just uh, big just you go to again and display style here you can see stick radius just you can decrease into 0.1 so now the bond radius is decreased so now we can close so now we can make copper 1 1 surface single atom alloy catalyst so this is the bulk structure of copper face centered cubes that is the fcc so first we can see the, the face group and, uh, and other things so for that what you have to do go to build here you can see crystals so here you can click rebuild crystal means it will show the face group and all. So this is the FM 3M 225 IT number. So this is the cubic. So this is the 225 uh, group, the FM 3M. So this is the one. So now what you have to do, we are going to make 111 surface. So we can close that one. Then go to build. Here you can click surface. This is just after crystals, you can see surface. After surface, if you keep here, it will show the cleave surface first. Then click it. So here, what you have to do? Here a cleave plane. Yet here, here what you have to mention? One one one. Just you can replace this in zero to one 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 surface. So if we keep cursor here, just you can keep anywhere. It will show this the blue colored box so now we can cleave our structure just what you have to do just you can click this cleave so now we will increase the layers so this is the one layer so if you click this one it will increase the layers so we can make up to six layer four or six six is i think is good 
so one layer second layer third layer fourth layer fifth layer is the sixth layer so one two three four five six layer we have created so next what you have to do we need to give the backup length so for that again go to build click crystal and it will show the build vacuum slab so here is 10 is there you can increase 20 or 25 so i will just put 20 the vacuum layer so now i will click build so see now the vacuum is created this is actually one into one unit cell structure so we can make two into two or four into four also so now i will tell you how to make a super cell so again go to build here you can see symmetry here you can see super cell click super cell here you can see a b c so here we can make 4 into 4 so then only you can uh, keep your single atom allies otherwise it will show a small uh, unit cell so for that we, need, we, are, we are creating 4 into 4 super cell just you can type 4 here 4 here a and b just create click create super cell so now the super cell is created this is 4 into 4 copper 111 surface so now we will make single atom alloy in this surface to do some catalytic conversions so this is the one so now what you have to do so you can see one layer second layer third layer fourth layer fifth layer sixth layer so from top here we can make our single atom up uh, alloy so i think we have cleaved everything just we can close this cleave surface otherwise it will show like this so we can close it so now we can change this atom into rhodium so first we can make a somewhat big atom so again click display style here you can see atom size just we can increase i think somewhat good now so we can close now so now you can select which atom you are, you are going to make single atom alloy so just i will select the center one so let me show you that yellow color so this is the selected atom so again you have to what you have to do again you have to go to this modify here you can see different kind of things here you can see modify element so you can uh, keep your cursor here then it will show all these things then you can again go to down so click the periodic table so you will see uh, different uh, transition metals all atoms so here we are going to change here this copper atom into rhodium atom so just we are going to click this rhodium and click ok so now this atom is changed into rhodium this is the rhodium single atom alloy is supported by the copper surface so now we can save this file into zip file or dot com files so we can make a zip file to do the VASP or cqpk or quantum expo so periodic density functional calculations so before going to do your uh, calculation you need to optimize your bulk structure then only you can go for the creating the copper 111 surface so first you have to do bulk structure optimization and uh, do then you can take that uh, c file uh, create uh, copper 111 surface and make single atom alloy. then you can save this file to dot core or dot c file in order to sort the atom 
z direction that means c direction so because so you have to fix some bottom layer for selective dynamics some top layer for selective dynamics so for that uh, you need, you have to short the atom otherwise so if you use i have made one video for sorting the atom to z direction so you can watch that video i will also put that uh, video link into the description box so you can watch then you can make uh, the selective dynamics of this uh, catalyst and you do your VASP calculations. So this is the one. So now you can save this file as a dot .cor or dot .zip file. So again go to file and click export. So here it will show the dot .xsd just you can change into SIF file. So now we are saving our copper 111 SIF file. For the sorting the Z direction, you need different files. So that is again go to file and export. You can click this dot cor file. So already I told you the dot CAR file dot CAR dot COR. So you have to select this one and save. So this is the this is the activity dot cor file. So you have we are, you have to use this file to short the atom. Then you can again convert it to C file and do your DFT calculations. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please like, comment, and share. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching.